How would you describe what's happened to you today? Um, best day of my life. Uh, to come here, you know, for the first time, obviously captain Aston Villa and score the winner, you know, it's what, it's what dreams are made of, especially for me being an Aston Villa fan. You've seen the incident back with the fan, though. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, you know, I was just unaware at the time. Obviously, I was just, I think we had a corner, was it, or a throw in in the corner. Um, and obviously, I was walking into position and then I just felt a whack around the, around the side of the face. Um, obviously, I don't, you know, there's rivalry and stuff in football, but um, I don't think there's any place for that, really. Uh, but, you know, um, I just tried to get on with my job in the end and, and I think I did, you know, I've scored mm. the winner and we've come away with three points. So. Yeah. How sweet a moment was that to get the winner? Uh, it was unbelievable, you know, in front of our fans and stuff. Uh, and after what happened in the first half, I think it was, you know, I think it was set up for it. Um, and like I said, you know, a captain in the club here was someone I've dreamed of since I was a little kid, so over the moon. Connor, how would you describe the restraint that, that Jack has shown and, and how he, he bounced back from what happened to him earlier? Yeah, listen, he showed his class today. Um, you know, the, the banter between the fans and, and the singing and the antics is, is all great. You know, it was, it was a fantastic buzz out there, but, you know, to have antics like that in the game is absolutely mm -hmm. disgusting. Um, full credit to this man next to me. Showed his class, got the winner, had the laugh, last laugh, and uh, it's a fantastic three points for us. You had a chance to score a second, the one that hit the bar. You've scored against Birmingham before. Did you think that one was in as well today? Yeah, maybe so. Uh, caught it nicely. I think the wind maybe took it a little bit. It was very windy out there. Thought it might go in, but, um, you know, it didn't. And, uh, you know, we took the three points today, and that's, that's the main thing. Jack, your second game back from injury. Can you feel yourself getting stronger and stronger now for the rest of the season? Um, yeah, well, last game I got 70 minutes today. I got 80, so the manager says next game he wants me to get no here. Um, you know, I keep cramping up a bit, but... Um, you know, in the past three months, I haven't really tried much. Um, but, you know, I've been thrown back in and I'm loving every minute, you know. Um, been back, playing with the boys and stuff. And I hope I've given them all a lift. And, you know, like I says, captain in the club is something I've dreamed of doing since I was since I was a young kid, you know. Mm -hmm. and, to, and to do that and obviously score twice in this game this season, it's lovely. Kind of four points off the playoffs now. Can you make your move? Can you use this as a springboard? Uh, listen, why not? Obviously, you know, the, the Jack next to me has given us a massive boost. He's come in and put in two top class performances. Um, you know, we got a tough one now against Forest on Wednesday and then Middlesbrough on Saturday. So, listen, we'll take it game by game. If we're in the kind of the hunt um, after the international break, I reckon we, we could have a chance. But, um, you know, it's a back to back wins for us now and um, we'll move on to Forest. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.